something. I'm going to show you how to fish it, which I think is far more important uh, than showing you how to tie this pattern. So that's a Rainey's Hibernator. That's the black and purple. That's my favorite color uh, in this fly family. That was a shot of the dry version. Uh, here's a shot of what it looks like when it's wet. A couple things that I like about this fly is you can see by the dry version, it's big and fat when it's dry. It has a lot of body. And so when that fly is um, goes under uh, tension and then slack, it tends to puff up really well. Those materials puff up and it creates a lot of action and undulation in that pattern. And then also on my trout spay flies, I tend to like a, a smaller hook on average. Uh, I tend to like the smaller hook because a lot of times the takes can be fairly light and the smaller hook tends to get them hooked up and connected, whereas those bigger hooks just don't seem to penetrate on a soft strike uh, quite as well. So the way I have the this set up uh, today is I've tied it on a non-slip mono loop to create additional action. I'm using Scientific Angler's 3X fluorocarbon tippet. I'm using five feet of it, just straight tippet um, to the end of my sink tip. Got an IMX Pro, G Loomis IMX Pro short spay three weight, commando head, 275 grains, and a bucket sink tip. My sink tip sinks really fast, whereas my fly doesn't. And my fly kind of takes on this almost neutral buoyancy effect, making it really lifelike, and it just does kind of hover almost. There's an, oh, that was a good strike right there. And I'm just giving this fly a little jig. I'm fishing a Rainey's Hibernator. And uh, I beat this water up with a couple of different streamers a few days ago. And uh, this is kind of just like one of my top three or four trout space streamers is this Hibernator. I just love the way this thing fishes. And I'm sure you can see my hand in the video there, but I'm giving it just a little jig around the other side of the camera here and I'll start jigging it towards the bank. There's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish. And that was after I started jigging it toward the bank. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that fish is way down there now. Well, I, let's take a look. I'll show you where he took off to and I'll show you the water we're fishing. So I'm jigging my fly in towards this high bank right here and it wasn't I got this camera on a tripod and it wasn't until I shifted my rod tip up and started jigging that fly right back toward the shore that uh, that I hooked that fish I think that fish was holding pretty close that's a very nice trout I'm kind of stoked right now this fishing was really tough until I got into this swing into this little high bank spot that's a dandy. We'll take it. There we go. There we go. Nice. Bring him up and get him landed over here. Here's a little trick when you're trying to land fish on an 11 foot rod. They can be hard to reach when your drag is tight. So I just loosened up my drag and I ran my fingers through here and I'm gripping the line because I can't reach the leader without it. And then I'll let go and I'll let that free spool. Oh, and I got it. I grabbed my leader. I didn't bring my net. I was just playing hooky for a few minutes. Opted not to bring the net. Let's take a quick look at him. I'll wet my hands. There we go, on that Rainey's Hibernator fly. There we go. Beautiful. I love that. On video too.